Hey there YouTube, welcome back to another Phantom Chaser news video with ScooterPie666. Okay guys, uh, there's an upcoming patch on December 14th, um, which is tomorrow uh, from 11 to 1600 UTC. Uh, and this patch is a doozy. Uh, it looks like they've got a lot of good stuff coming out and a little bit of maybe not so good stuff. But uh, let's go over these notes, patch notes real quick. Okay, so uh, the following will be sent to your mailbox after the maintenance for compensation. So right off the bat, maintenance competition, one super whooper duper starstone, yay! Is that crickets I hear? Uh, major, okay, but so major update compensation. So there is 10 star stones for the uh, actual update compensation. So that's good, 10 star stones, yay. And 500,000 gold, yay. And Phantom of the Brave. What is that? Phantom of the Brave. I don't know what that means. But anyways, you get uh, five two to four star summon tickets that's cool a four star uh, ten spirit fire four stars and ten in gear enhancement stones times three ooh fancy and valuation scrolls times ten what the hell is a valuation scroll yeah, I got nothing. Uh, this does not include the individual compensation made for users described in the below patch note. The update details are quite long. Please bear with us until the end of the post. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah. Sorry for all the typing, because we changed a lot of shit. <laughs> Patch notes, uh, okay, so conquest system and gear equipment added. Yay, about time. Defeat Behemoth along with friends to acquire gear for characters. So you have to do this with friends, that's interesting. Behemoth encounter is triggered by finishing a s adventure stage. Trigger rate differ, uh, rates differ and increase from later stages. So so, how do you take a friend with you if you're just, like, randomly gets triggered after doing an adventure stage? I don't understand. And, is it just people from your friends list, I guess? Yeah, I guess. Uh, gears, gear, materials, crafting, and enhancing shall be given according to behemoth level and player's contribution. Why would you... If you make people take friends with them and play actively at the same time as you, why would you make it trigger from doing adventure stages? That's a, that's a weird... Why would you do that? I don't know. We'll have to see how it works. Uh, disassemble system added. Unused items and characters can now be disassembled to acquire battlefield points. What are battlefield points? Uh, receive battlefield points will vary by type and tier of item that was disassembled. Battlefield point event shop will also be renewed. I don't think that's the correct translation. Because I don't think there is one now. Or maybe they mean they renew it once a week or something. Um, <clears throat> stamina cost reduction and recovery speed permanently applied. You know what? Let me go back to that. Battlefield Point Event Shop. So they're adding a shop that you can use to spend battle points. And battle points are something that you get by disassembling unused items or unused characters. I wonder if you get them in other ways also. Stamina cost reduction and recovery speed permanently applied. Woohoo! The uh, current half is being applied permanently. Good. 
I'm one of the people that said they should do that. Due to the permanent application, there will be adventure adjustment on drop rates and adventure stages below. So this is one of the bad things. Uh, drop rates for three star memories will be increased and four star memories and character drop rates will be decreased. Other stamina related changes on, on level up stamina will stack over maximum stamina if it adds. So okay so if you have 30 stamina and then you level up you will get whatever your maximum stamina is plus that 30 is what they're saying that one time um recharging stamina over the max cap will be possible up to 30,000 stamina so oh good i'm glad they did that because that was one of the things that was annoying because like the Baphomet missions like costed a hundred stamina and I was like you know what why can't I just spend like 20 star stones and put my stamina up super high and then just put it to auto repeat that would have been really nice because that auto repeat function was pretty useless so this will fix that stamina purchasable by uh, with ominous points in shop menu Ooh, stamina is purchasable with honor points nice uh, transcendence step reduce for evolved characters with 1, 2, and 3 origin. Evolved characters with 1 and 2 origin will only require 10 transcendence max. Previously required 40 steps. <laughs> oh dear Jesus. By the way, how many of you are even bothered to evolve a 1 or a 2 star character? I haven't even touched them at all. Uh, evolved characters with 3 star origin will require only 10 transcendents to max previously 20 steps. Okay then. That's good. Although, does that mean that they're weaker? Or do they still... What, does that mean that they're weaker once they're at 5 stars? Or will their stats still be the same? I'm curious about that. No changes will be applied with 4 star characters. The level cap to 1 star in each evolution evolved characters possessed by the user will be adjusted to match. Okay, so level cap will be adjusted to match the changes. And also the level of character will be maxed. Compensation will be made to users who already surpass the 10 transcendent steps according to surpass steps so you'll be compensated if you were past that remove upgrade system characters will no longer require upgrade characters will no longer oh they removed the upgrade system oh so you can just level a character up to that's great you can just level a character up to level 100 without doing the upgrade crap Upgrade stones will be used for evolution instead. Oh good, that'll be interesting. Required requirements change for evolving characters. Evol evolving will no longer require scroll of evolution. So what the hell is the scroll of evolution going to even be for then? Or four star spirit fires. Dimensional crystals. Spirit of evolution. Upgrade stones and gold will be the changed requirements. Okay. Number of requirements vary by origin tier. Okay. Crafting requirements for Spirit of Evolution changed to three spirit cores of the same attribute. Okay, so it's only the spirit of evolution, um, dimensional crystals, and upgrade stones, plus gold, instead of the other stuff. Okay, well, I'm not sure about that, but I am definitely happy about not having to upgrade anymore, because it was annoying as hell. Requirements change for crafting characters. Okay, interesting. Crafting characters no longer require soul heart or puppet of void. 
only memory of character and doll of void of the same tier and gold is required. Oh. Oh, well, that makes it a little bit easier. So are they going to change all our Puppet of Voids back to Doll of Voids then? I, uh, hopefully that's what they're doing. Uh, scalar Tower Improvements. Decrease the level of Phantoms from Floor 49 and over to remove sudden difficulty jump. And yes, it was a massive difficulty spike. Like all of a sudden, it got harder than hell. So hopefully that makes a difference, although I'm not sure if it did or not. Rewards change uh, for items that are no longer used. Uh, Scroll of Evolution was changed to a 2-4 to four summons ticket, and Puppet of Void was changed to gold. Well, we still need the Doll of the Voids, you guys. Anyways, uh, Gap of Destiny, Stamina Cost was reduced, and Gold received for clearing the stage was tripled. Oh, good. Nice. River of Fire, only Dimensional Crystals will be dropped from chest. Good, because we needed more ways to get Dimensional Crystals. Weeping Cave Revision, Weeping Cave will no longer drop Memories or Soul Hearts. Instead, uh, we will be adding a daily system to acquire... Uh, Weeping Cave will no longer drop Memories or Soul Heart. Instead, we will add a daily system to acquire Doll of Void and Spirit Cores. So, Weeping Cave is completely useless then? It will no longer acquire stamina. Instead, we will give three free entries a day. For entry, extra entries, Star Stones are required. Two Star Stones, second. Four Star, okay. Yeah. For the memories uh, that were only farmable in Weeping Cave will be added to drops in Adventure Mode. Memory of Blue Dragon added to random drop list on hard difficulty stage 1010. Well, Memory of Phoenix will be added to random drop list on hard difficulty stage 10.9. Uh, I see. So, Weeping Cave is shut down completely then, or what? What is the point of, or does it, it, it gives you Doll of Void and Spirit Course, is that what it is? Okay. Uh, Non-functional items and property changes. Spirit Core will be added item property instead of a character and will appear in your item inventory stacked by each attribute. Spirit Cores acquired before the maintenance will have them as character property you will need to convert it to an item property to craft it in craft to properly use and sell for gold and distribution for battle points what does that mean spirit cores acquired before the maintenance will have them as character property you will have to convert it to item property in craft so I am confused on that, but make sure you guys check that out after the patch notes. Because it sounds like you won't be able to use them unless you do this. Puppet of Void, Scroll of Evolution, Soul Hearts will no longer have any roles or function in the game and will be not be acquirable. You will either sell it or disassemble it for gold or battle points. Please note... Um, probably battle points. Please note that the sell price will increase for the above mentioned item after the maintenance. Oh, okay. Due to the removal of some growth related materials, the joy uh, or the growth material summon in joy shop will be unavailable. Okay. Where was I? Okay, let's see here. Where was I? Oh, Jesus.
Due to the removal of some growth related materials, growth material summon and joy shop will be available. Other improvement and changes, drop list info UI added and random summon items. Remove tutorial for upgrade. Uh, more detail update note will be released after the maintenance. Um, yeah, so I, I think over and all of these changes are definitely good. There are a couple of things in there that like I'm like, why are they doing that? But for the most part, uh, I'd say this is all pretty good stuff. Um, it looks like they're slowly removing the importance of Starstone so that you'll be able to use them more for summoning, which is good. Although they still need to like add other potential ways to get them other than buying them. But uh, at least they're making it a little bit easier uh, for some of the other stuff. Although I still don't know who the heck is bothering to upgrade one and two star monsters because I just don't see a point to it. Uh, maybe I should revisit that. Maybe I'll spend some time looking at some of their skill sets because I haven't actually even looked. Uh, Alright, well anyway, that's it for the patch notes. You guys have a good one.